Blessings, blessings, my viewers. Welcome back to the channel. Watch, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell if you are also new to the channel. Remember, the more you like the video, the more YouTube recommend it among its algorithm. In the come, investigating shooting in St. James and Westmoreland. Investigators assigned to the Independent Commission of Investigation in the come Western Regional Office said they have commenced an investigation into two separate shooting incidents by the police in two days. During the incident, two men were shot and killed and another man was wounded. The incident happened in, Car in Garland District, St. James on February 26 and Negril Westmoreland on February 27 in the same district. The police report that officers were dispatched on a planned operation, on a planned operation sorry, in Garland District in search of a man. During the search, it is alleged that the men were seen running from a house, firing in the direction of the officers. One man, a 64-year-old farmer and construction worker, Donald Green, was shot and killed. It is further report that a Glock pistol firearm was recovered from the scene. Negril Westmoreland shooting. According to the police, the counter-terrorism and organized crime, CTAC officers, were involved in a shooting incident where two security guards employed to a secure world where were shot and sunshine plaza in Negril. Both men were taken to hospital for treatment where the 25-year-old Dylan Arden was pronounced deceased. No firearm was reported as recovered from the incident. Indicom said, inquiries continue to further understand the full circumstances surrounding both incidents. Indicom investigations involve the processing of incident scene, witness conversing, and initial interview of the concerned officers. These concerned officers will be required to provide a statement and or attend the office of commis the commissioner to the interviewed to pursue to the section 21 of the independent commissioner of investigation act 2010 the agency said it's in a statement today indicum urges all persons who witness the fatal shooting incident to assist in investigating process by contacting the commissioner's officers with known information or by sending photos and videos to Indicom official WhatsApp group at 876-553-5555. Sykes, satisfied, black man was leader of the Klang's Wandan gang. Chief Justice Brian Sykes says, he is satisfied that one of the evidence presented in the Klangsman Wandan gang trial, Andre Blackman Bryan, was the leader of the gang between January, 20, January 2015 to June 2019. The judge further indicated that he feels secure based on evidence presented that Ted Prince, Jahil Blake, Andre Golden, Fabian Johnson, Stephanie Coley Christie are members of the gang. Brian who was initially indicted for 17 counts of no reduction to 25 counts indicatement, now faces 8 counts including the leadership of a criminal organization. I am satisfied that on this evidence presented, a criminal organization exists having regards to the role E B R Y A N played. He was the leader, judge said today in the home circuit court while assessing the evidence brian is among 27 defendants remaining in the trial five were previously freed when their no case submission were upheld, while another was murdered last august with exception of brian all 26 defendants are facing charges of being a part of a criminal organization for some it is the only count that they are on, while others are on multiple counts. But Justice Sykes will signal that he has accepted that the leader is in fact Brian, and the other five defendants are members as not officially handed down a verdict 
on the specific count on which they are charged as he is still reviewing the evidence. The judge, however, came to the conclusion about the defendants while speaking about an undicement incident which was dealed by one of the former gang members in that incident. The ex-gangster testified that Brian ordered the shooting of three men in Fishery, St. Catherine and Blake, Prince and Golden were involved in the planned execution. He also highlight an arson incident involving a financial institute in Spanish Town St. Catherine, which the ex-gangster testified that the gathering had burned down the place after the refusal of the extortion money. The lone female defendant was fingered as being involved in the arson attack along with Johnson and a now deceased member called Mackerel.